Red Film Radio at the 80 International Film Art Exhibition in Venice. I'm Laura de la Corte, and we are here today with the director of Explanation for Everything in the section Horizonti, Gabo Rice. How are you today? How are you feeling? Uh, today will be our screening, so I'm I'm really excited, and I didn't sleep anything. I think. <laughs> well, <laughs> so you are you know a bit afraid of the audience reaction today. Uh, yeah, maybe. But also, it's it's always a really strange uh, moment when you when you film start, and you know it's 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 kind of. It's kind of uh, uh, when you when you uh, break up with somebody. So yeah, it, it, it's a really excited uh, period. Okay, so I would like to ask you one thing. Uh, at the end of the film, I saw that you dedicated that to your dad. And I was thinking about a thing. Is that something autobiographical in the character of Abel for you? Filmographical? Uh, uh, autobiographical, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, well, uh, I think uh, usually, you know, it's, it's hard because uh, uh, if, you, if you start to write or make a movie, you never think about the, the process that how you do it, you just try to do the, your best and um, but after uh, three movies, I think I I always had to make kind of personal movie. I mean, it's really important for me. It wasn't a decision the big uh, at the beginning of the the writing process, but uh, around the middle, I just realized that I started to write a little bit about myself as uh, 18 years old. Uh, Abel and a little bit about my father and our relationship uh, yeah and according to that you know education but not only the education the fact that you have to become someone you know for your family and even for you you know to to have a place in the world is like a central theme in your story and you uh, just portrayed that with different kind of vision because we have Abel, we have his father, we have the history teacher. So how did you put that all together? And if you want to say that education, yes, is important, but it's more important, you know, to find what is really fits for you. Uh, uh, I had terrible experience uh, uh, when I was in the high school. I was a really bad student. Uh, and I hate the, the exam situation. Maybe it's important. Uh, and uh, I, I, I just have basic, the basic idea of what is uh, that somebody lie to his father and he left his uh, nationality pin on his uh, suit. And uh, yeah, that's, that's it. And uh, I started to to, actually, my 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 co-writer mentor uh, asked me to to just start to write about the characters, and uh, she asked me that start uh, the day before the exam, and I started to write not not a script. It was maybe just uh, short stories, and in a first person singular. And I really loved this this method because. Uh, they are just get closer to me, these characters. And uh, it was, you know, I, 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 I not just write the, the, the story and the dialogues, also the every, everything of them. And, uh, and then uh, we have this Rashomon effect. Uh, and uh, actually, the, the structure built uh, at the end of this this writing process. Yeah, actually, uh, I can feel that because even the the chapter thing is very you know fluid in some way and makes me think more like uh, a series. At the end of it, I started to you know get attached emotionally to to your character, then I wanted to know more, and you know um, actually the the other thing that you 
you know, show us there is one of the, um, the fact that the influence of media and fake news can brought the story to another point. And so how did you, even your personal experiences during school protests, I know that you have been there supporting the, the students, you know, have shaped your perspective on this media distortion and how you portrayed that? Uh, the basic experience was from uh, 2019 in this, this uh, demonstration uh, by the students and I also stand for uh, and uh, yeah it was just one week and uh, the distortion of the media was I mean it was terrible to see that how they changed the the, the reality and uh, and because of I I was a student as well uh, in this university I felt really really deep uh, and and I I also felt that I now I maybe have to decide that I'm a, a left or right wing uh, somebody, <laughs> and I never think about myself. Uh, that uh, so I, I really don't care this kind of uh, um, political, political argument. Views, yeah. yeah, and you know actually um, you explore uh, in some way you know the hungarian politics and the fact that is dividing people uh, i'm i'm thinking about the scene between the father and the history teacher that you know at the end, at the beginning was like very you know polite and, and in the end was like chaos and so do you think this uh, will have you know some kind of reaction in the audiences or uh, from the Odysseys when you, you, your film will be released in Hungary too? I don't know. Uh, Do you think you will, they will think about political views or, or not? I, I, <laughs> I won't be happy because uh, our purpose was that uh, just show this effect how these people start to talk and it's not talking, I mean it's not the real communication. Yeah just um, effect of uh, the argument or or loud talking something like this uh, so we really really our our aim it was uh, to to ad identi identify with it uh, every side uh, understand every side especially the traumas of these people uh, so I would be really happy if if they don't watch uh, this movie that is a right or left uh, statement. Okay, so that that's the the thing, you know, that they are not talking about politics, but they are living a different situation, even because they are a different kind of generation too. I think. Yeah. So yeah, you know, my my last question is: as a filmmaker, you have your third feature film so as your change as your approach to, to filming changed I, like you said that you wanted to do something more personal but what do you think about in the future what uh, are your goals that you have achieved with that with the explanation for everything and actually why did you call it explanation for everything it's like ah. yeah okay uh, I start uh, with, the, with, with the title uh, so uh, the uh, explanation, it's, uh, it's, well, I don't remember what was the, sorry, just a moment. For me, I try to figure out uh, and show every side. Uh, so this is the, the reason that everything and for explanation, it's, it's, uh, it's. I think it's one of the 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 main uh, the main reason that that we feel this this terrible atmosphere, uh, and uh, and somehow I try to, of course, I try to explain it. The, maybe this is the the, the reason that the, the title is explanation for everything. Uh, and what was the first question? 
uh, I mean, how did you change your approach during yeah, these yeah. three different films? I, I, unfortunately, I didn't see the, mm. the previous one, but I know that there are different topics, mm -hmm. actually. Well, uh, actually, I don't exactly know what will be the next, so it's, it's hard to answer it, but uh, I'm sure that somehow it will be personal. Uh, but I, I would be really happy if, if I could uh, try uh, genre movies. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, have, we won't have too much option to make a normal budget movie because uh, that was a low budget movie. It's important. So uh, because I don't think that the, the film fund will, uh, will support us uh, with the next so it will be hard and, and of course if you would like to make a genre movie for example a crime or a, a film noir or action movie you you need a normal or, or a higher budget than the low yeah yeah i know that actually if i can can give you my point when you said for explanation for everything is uh the fact that everyone has, you know, some reason to do something. And I thought about the interviewer mo the most because mm. at the end she gets what she wants, but mm. then he ha she has to be said to her, why, where are you going with those shoes? So, mm. you know, it's like, is it that really that you want? <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, thank you for your, uh, for being with us. Thank you to Gabo Reyes, Director of Explanation for Everything in the section Horizonte. I'm Laura de la Corte for Fred, the Festival Insider. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much.